Good morning from Endless Summer Dockside. Buddy. All in all, it was a pretty good sleep. Mm-hmm. Like, I had a good night's sleep. Uh, we're headed down for breakfast right now at Pier 8 Marketplace. Uh, I looked at the menu. It looks pretty good. Should we go have breakfast? Uh-huh. So it's a palm tree. And then we're going to try to ride Hagrid's. Uh-huh. Yeah. Let's, let's do, do it, it, buddy. All right, we're headed through the lobby, and it looks like Starbucks is open, but there's a pretty long line for it. So we're headed into Pier 8 Marketplace for some breakfast. I wonder if they got coffee in there. I'm sure they don't have Starbucks, but I'm sure they have coffee, right? Okay, it's not not as intensely crowded as I thought it was gonna be back here. It's about as crowded as it was yesterday. They've got some some breakfast pizzas over here. There's a lot more that you can order, but they would have to be... Oh, it looks like this is the only thing on the menu. Oh, they got vegetarian breakfast pizza too. And then they've got chicken and waffles over here. You can do just regular waffles or chicken and waffles. Oh, all kinds of toppings. You can get chocolate chips on it. Of course, fresh fruit. Across the way, they've got some parfaits with granola. Orange juices and green juices. Different, uh, various pressed juices. Some apples. You know, you can get like eggs, bacon, potatoes, things like that. We've got pre-made sandwiches back there. I can't really see what they are. Oh, okay, we got smoked salmon on a bagel. Vegan avocado toast, ham and cheddar croissant. Kids breakfast combo. I think that's what we'll get Jackson, which is just scrambled eggs, bacon, sausage links, and potatoes, and a biscuit. And then over here, there's a bunch of people at this window, so I can't really show the food right now. We've got hot breakfast sandwich, ham, egg, and cheese sandwich. Ooh, a Baja burrito. And you got pancakes, challah bread, French toast, Pier 8 bacon and, bacon and egg frittata. Sounds real nice. I think I can get a close-up of that one. Ooh. Ooh, and some pancakes too. It looks like chocolate chip pancakes. All right, so here's what we got. Jen got the Baja Burrito, which was $9. And it comes with a side of hash browns and some sour cream and uh, salsa. I got the ham, egg, and cheese breakfast sandwich, which was $7. And that also came with hash browns. Kind of a really good deal for that size of sandwich. Jackson got the kids breakfast combo, which was $6. Comes with bacon, sausage, potatoes, a roll, and some eggs. Uh, and then I got some orange juice. Orange juice was three fifty, and then Jen got a tea for three twenty-five. I thought you said it was three fifty last night. Oh, so it's a dollar and twenty-five cents cheaper than Disney. Wow. Wow. I was gonna try to get some Starbucks, but the line was so long. Um, oh, but I and then we got a banana that... for a dollar fifty. Oh, okay. But I also saw that there is a coffee machine in this area. Oh, it's okay. It's like a cold brew machine. Ooh, nice. So you can get a cold brew over here. Um, I don't know how it tastes, but it's in a little like vending machine. Yeah. This you eating your hash brown? <laughs> Did you steal it? So here is the cross section of Jen's burrito. It's got chorizo, potatoes, eggs, cheese, and salsa. It's pretty delicious. I hope that I'm talking loud enough to be over top of Sugar Ray. I kind of like the music that they play here. Yeah, it's, it's kind of fun. Playlist. Yeah, they play like Beach Boys, Sugar Ray, like oldies. So after breakfast, we came down to the pool because it just opened at 9 and there's nobody out here yet. We're not going to go to the pool. We're going over to Universal right now, but I wanted to show you the pool while there was nobody in it. So you can get an idea of what it looks like from down here because we were showing it to you from up there. Yeah. And they've got these little signs over here on the chairs that are a QR code for the menu at Wave Maker's Bar. It's a very, very nice pool though. So there is zero entry right here. There are some stairs over there. And there's these fun little fountains that I think Jackson would really like. No slide or anything like that. It looks like the deepest spot is three foot 10 that I can see. Yeah, three foot 10 and a lot of seating around here. And they do have some seating with umbrellas. Like I said yesterday, they do have towels available and towel return. So you take a towel from here, use it, and then you bring it back here when you're done with it. Trying to find Jen, she's down there. When it's first thing in the morning, like 9 a.m. like this, it's very calm out here and relaxing. Yeah. Hey buddy, we're gonna go in the pool. Maybe later today, you never know. We're either gonna go in the pool or we'll head back to like Universal, City Walk type stuff. We can, the world is our palm tree. It's you true. can literally do anything. That one right there, as a matter of fact. <laughs> well, there's a sign here that says, swim diapers are available at the pool bar, I'm assuming for purchase. And then another thing, oh, they have a ping pong table out here with ping pong balls in it and the paddles are right next to it. You don't have to do anything. You just come out here and play. And then I wanted to show off these restroom signs because I like it. 
I like the guy's hair and his sunglasses. Oh, those look just like your swim trunks. It's true. That, that's you. That's me. Wow. I'm telling you where the bathroom is. <laughs> so we came over by the bar. I like how they have these little like boxes that you can sit on next to these tiny tables. There are like a couple of tables out here. Not like a ton of tables to sit at. What? But I think oh, the this fans? Is a good place to, to hang out because it's covered. Oh, yeah. So when it starts raining, you got a covered spot. Yeah. Nice little Anirondacks here. And here's a look at the bar. This is the Wavemakers Pool Bar. And you can see some of the names of the drinks. The Storm, The Surge, Mach 5, Disco H2O, Brainwash. Those were all names of slides at Wet n Wild. And then 28 North, 81 West, I think is the location of Universal. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what the coordinates 28 North and 81 West point to. Oh, they have their own beer. They do? Yeah, Dockside Sunset Blonde Ale. Oh, look at that. Wow. These are all like fun looking beers. Yeah. Which one's, what's this one? OBP. Oh, Orange Blossom Pilsner. Yeah. So that's cool. It's not just like your normal Bud Light. They have some nice ones. But they do have your normal Bud Light. <laughs> oh, and then they have all their like fancy liquors locked up back there. And then they have uh, like almost like they're called mini melts. Little dots of ice cream. They do have a Coke freestyle machine over here too. Oh, okay. This one's called the Bubba Tub, which was another slide over at Went Wild. And you get a bucket full of a drink. And you get those little candy balls too. Although this one is $18. So yesterday, when we were first checking in, we had the darndest time trying to find a luggage cart. We never actually found one. But since then, and we didn't see any that day. Yeah. But then since then, we've seen them everywhere. People have luggage carts all over the place. So I know that they are around. You just gotta go on a hunt for them, I think. I think they were in the tower one and we were in tower two. Um, and I think they were in that parking garage. Gotcha. Cause there were none. Yeah, there were none in this parking garage and none in our tower. So we are all packed up in the car and now we are headed to Universal and we're gonna put the camera up on the dash so you guys can see how long of a drive it is from here to Universal. I'm gonna speed it up, but I will put the like elapsed time in the bottom of the screen when we get there. Yeah. Um, it shouldn't be too long at all though. Yeah, it's just right across the street. So it is 9.30, so we did miss early entry. But I still think it's early enough that we should be able to get on Hagrid's fairly quickly. And it's in a virtual queue right now, right? Yeah, so I'm going to try to enter into it right now out here in the parking lot. We'll yeah. see what happens. Oh my, here is the line to get through security out here in the parking lot. Wow, it's a big massive group of people. So they stopped us right before the moving walkway and they're letting the moving walkways and the lines go down before putting us back in. All right, it's about 9.45 now, 15 minutes after we got in line. And we are walking up to security. When all was said and told, 20 minutes waiting in line from where we got in line to where we got through security. Not too bad for how many people there were, but it was a lot of people coming in. We're heading into Universal Orlando. There's the bubblegum shrimp out there. There's a shrimpy. Yeah. Do you see the shrimp, buddy? I'm sorry. <laughs> I've never seen a shrimp before. <laughs> Have a good day. All right, we are walking up to Islands of Adventure. I'm excited for you to ride Hagrid's. Yeah, I'm excited. I hope it happens. I, it will, it'll happen. Right, let's go wide. Ooh, I wonder what the wait time for Velocicoaster is too. I forgot all about Velocicoaster in this park. <laughs> I know, it's the latest and greatest. I just forgot it was in this park because I was so focused on Hagrid's. I wonder, I wonder when the sign for Green Eggs and Ham is gonna come back. You can kind of see that like post up there sitting on top of the awning. That uh, used to be a sign. So we were trying to figure out the app. So right now Hagrid's is in a virtual line and I can't see any way to, to join the virtual line. There's no, no, nothing about it. And then I saw down here a website. So I went to that website only to find out that Hagrid's is temporarily at capacity. So if you're wondering why you can't join the virtual line, that's probably why. So as we were walking past the magical fountain here in the Lost Continent, we saw this. Kind of looks like 
silver shamrock type stuff or Halloween-y type things. Do you think that for, because this is a big year, it's the 30th anniversary of Horror Nights. Yeah. Do you think that they're gonna do both parks? No. So what is this? I don't know, probably just a shop, like a Halloween shop. So we talked to a team member, I guess it's a third party app that they are testing today. So the virtual line is not available in the app, in the Universal app. You have to go to that uh, that test, the vltest.universalorlando.com. And he said, just wait 30 minutes and then it'll pop up and we'll be able to join. So we'll see what happens at uh, 1045. But that's not, now, who knows, like if you come tomorrow, they may not be using this system. Right. They may be using the app. Right. So things are ever changing. Right. So here's the sign that we had to come to the ride and scan. So that's the QR code that we scanned to get to this website. So while we are waiting for the virtual line to open up, I think we are going to head over to Camp Jurassic over in the Jurassic Park section of the park. Looking over at the Velocicoaster, there's a raptor cage is what they're calling it over top of the walkway here where the roller coaster goes over top of the walkway. Just added that a couple of weeks ago. Over here near Velocicoaster and we came up to see this wait time, only a 45 minute wait. Not bad at all for a brand new ride. One of the best signs in any theme park is for Pizza Predatorio with two dinosaurs, two velociraptors fighting over a piece of pizza. It's one strong pizza. So while we're waiting for the virtual queue to open up, we are gonna head into the raptor encounter. Ooh. Sierra, that's a baby. We're gonna baby? be nice, okay? Look at how excited <laughs> he is to see this raptor. Yeah. Yeah. That's a little Hi there. Baby. It's a little baby just like you. Listen, she's purring! That's so nice! How old is she? She's only six months old, so oh. she's a baby. How old is your hatchling? He's uh, 19 months. 19 months? Okay! Oh, wow, well, you guys are about the same size! <laughs> Look, she's even wagging her tail back here. Aww! Should we take a picture, baby? Oh, I think we should! You want to yeah. take a picture? Future, future raptor expert over here. Right? Okay. Give a thumbs up, Jackson! Sierra, focus, please. <laughs> Sierra. Yeah, no, she's only interested <laughs> in looking at you. That's so nice. Uh -huh. Bye. Oh, nice Sierra, you. new friend? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Here it comes, buddy. This is it. This is dreaming of roller coastering. What do you think, buddy? There they go. Yeah, okay. they're gonna come right here. Whoa. So right outside of the Velocicoaster, there is a sign that talks about Velociraptors, and it says it's, the name means Swift Thief, and they give a size chart of it, approximately 12, almost 13 feet long, compared to, I don't know what, they have the Indominus Rex over here, that's a made up dinosaur, next to the T-Rex. I feel like that T-Rex is a bit big though because this is a brontosaurus next to it. Or that brontosaurus I guess is small. Dang. So I was looking on um, Twitter and some people were talking about how they wrote it and it rolled back. Oh yeah. They didn't make it up the um, the top hat. Yeah, I've seen them do videos. I've seen videos of them doing testing of that. Oh really? Yeah. So what does it do? It just goes back through the. It goes back here and it does the launch again. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. That's a roller coaster, buddy. That roller coaster is cycling. Yeah. Dang. They're putting people through this. Now it's time to head into Camp Jurassic. It's kind of like I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's like a playground type area for kids. Lots of waterfalls. Lots of bridges and lots of slides. Jackson's real enamored with the fire. So we're gonna go up the stairs here, maybe go through like the rope work. We'll see if we can find a slide somewhere. I feel like there's one over here. We're doing it. All right, so I Are think, yes. Okay, go down the slide. All right, here comes He's Jackson. Coming. Here he comes. Wee! Oh, you, okay? you okay, bud? A little too fast? Did you like it? You wanna do it again? Is he okay? Yeah. Little little brush of the back of the head and he's a okay. All right, I'm I'm down at the bottom. <laughs> I'm down here. Look, mommy's down here. Ready? Here we go. Yeah. One, two, three. We. Whoa! You did it. <laughs> Good job. Uh oh, careful, careful. Ooh. 
Found some more stairs. Oh yeah, this slide might be a little bit too intense for you, buddy, because it goes down and then spins real tight at the end. So we'll just do that one small slide. Okay. There are some like T-Rex footprints down below us and kids are running across them right now. And those are the noises that it's making. What's that? That's a tree. It's actually quite nice in the shade back here. It is very hot today. It's uh, 84 degrees in the shade, but it still feels kind of nice. So this is the big slide right here. Ooh, we're gonna go on a suspension bridge, buddy. Ooh, buddy, we're going inside of a cave. We're gonna go on the back side of water. Whoa, look at that. We're exploring, buddy. Look at that. We're over top of the water. There's a waterfall right here, too. Look at this kid exploring into the dark. He's like, look at the lights. Maybe, yeah. Ooh. Those geyser keeps going off. Oh, you had a really good view of it down here. Oh. Ooh, look at it bubbling down there. Noxocity? Oh. We're just inside of a rock, buddy. This is like your dream. This is proof. Hogwarts is in the Jurassic World universe what i heard yeah there's dinosaurs at hogwarts Whee! oh no i'm stuck inside of here buddy i can't get out okay i was too big for that slide all right here comes jackson go see daddy go see daddy here we go one two three we you did it i did it all right, so we know that Jackson's not tall enough, but we're gonna check it anyways. We'll see. We'll see how close he is. All right, buddy, you want to check your you want to check your height? You don't like it. Oh, it's okay. You know what? We have something for him though. Oh, okay. Here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Jackson, come look. Look over here. What is this? Look! Look at this. Oh, this is not. No, no, she's she's using that. Sorry, sorry. So close. So this is gonna be an express pass for here. Once he gets to the right height. Him and four of his friends can come up and not have to wait online. So you oh. can just bring this back with you. Buddy. Very cool. Can you say thank you? This is That's for you, for you buddy. Oh. That was a present for you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. How neat is that? Once Jackson is clear for all flight activities, he can ride Pterodon flyers with four of his friends without waiting in line. So Jackson, when it's your turn to ride, can one of your friends be mommy? What if it's daddy? No, mommy. Point to who you want it to be. Thumbs up. Me. Oh, both of us. No, mommy, mommy. Where's daddy? Oh, no. so you're pointing at, oh no. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna head into the Jurassic Outfitters to try to get a little bit of AC and uh, grab some water for, for everybody because it is very warm. But how cool was this? So cool. So while we were taking a break inside, we were able to get a virtual queue for Hagrid's and we can get on in two and a half hours. I don't know, that's at like 1.30. So we'll see. Jackson's nap time is one. Ugh. Right now we're gonna try to find something to eat. Also, I wanted to point out that we finally got something that's specific for Jackson to hold on to. Before he was just holding on to like a bag carrier, like a bag clip. And now he's holding on to a specific handle made for him to hold on to. He's doing really good. Yeah, he's doing great. So every time that I open up the my phone, he gives me a new thing saying that my reservation time has been changed to 1.43. If you need more time, please use the reschedule option on your reservation. And also it says we have to use it by 2.13. I feel like the good news is every time that I open up the app, it seems to change to a different time. So like as we were walking out of the store, it said your time has been changed to 144. And then we went to the bathroom and then changed your time has been changed to 143. So it's like going down by minutes as, as people are getting onto the ride, like as it's cycling through people, I think it is changing. So maybe it'll get down by one, you never know. All right, we're gonna head into Thunder Falls. Looks kind of good. Right, some nice plantains, some rotisserie pork, rotisserie chicken. 
turkey leg rice bowls? Well, there's like, there's hardly anybody over here. Okay. I think this should be pretty good. So we stopped off at Thunder Falls and we're actually all three splitting this, which is the pork, the chicken, french fries, and corn. Right now, Jackson's enjoying some french fries. And some pork. And some air conditioning. Yeah, it feels pretty good in here. So you could also, instead of the fries, you could have gotten rice or um, like sliced roasted potatoes. Oh. So there are some other options. They did have a side of like rice and beans as well. Uh, and then we got some desserts. On the photo outside, they had plantains on top. Oh, did they? Yeah, what's that one weird looking thing back there? Is that like the pork skin? This? Yeah. Oh, this? Yeah. Ah, okay. Also, we got a pretty good view of the drop for the Jurassic Park River Adventure which comes out of that door right over there. Let's see if something's coming down. Came out this side door and the stairs are there. I have to go this way with the stroller because this is the only ramp. And I kind of go through the splash zone here. You can see the concrete is all wet right here. It's actually kind of neat standing here and seeing like the wave stops right there so that like when the boat comes down and creates a huge splash, it's not like a tidal wave, it's just a, like a, a spray. You can see the wave stops taking action. The last two boats that came down must have been like extra full or something because the splashes, like one of them hit this table over here. Like that's a huge splash. So we'll have to watch the next one and see how big of a splash it is. I had to move the stroller back because I got wet over here. Here it comes. You can hear the T-Rex roaring in there. Look at this spray. Bad news, there's a storm that's gonna start in probably like 10, 15, 20 minutes. And uh, I think that's gonna push the virtual line back so I think we will be into Jackson's nap time for sure. So I think, I'm sorry, but I think you missed out on your ride on Haggard's today. No! I mean, we'll see what happens. How long of a storm is it? Uh, it's a quick one. Well, I'm just saying, it's gonna the line's gonna shut down during the storm because they don't run it during the rain. Right. So it's gonna push your wait time back past two o'clock. Do you think? Yeah. Okay. So we wanted to we wanted to do a photo op here with Jackson. You're supposed to turn the phone sideways so it looks like they are being dragged away by Marmaduke and Jackson doesn't quite understand it. Hold on to the rope. Does it look like he's being dragged away? He just wants to ride on the cloud. You're doing great, buddy. Is that a horsey? Close. So for as much as this area seems dated, and seems like maybe people wouldn't either get it or spend a lot of time here. Jackson loves this area. He's been like pointing at everything and wanting to do all the photo ops and touching everything and... <laughs> what do you think, buddy? He was really into, there were some water features back there that he was like really super into. He loves it. All right, pop quiz. What was the name of that witch that ran into the pole back there? Oh, I don't know. Broomhilda. Oh, literally, you just saw this sign, didn't you? No. Yes, you I cheated. Knew it. This sign right here. I, I was like, how would he even know that? I knew it from watching, uh, reading from comics. Cheating. From reading comics. No, you cheated. You saw this sign. No. <laughs> what? Do, what about Kathy? Wait, what comic is that from? It's from Broomhilda. That, no, it's not, is it? Yeah. Is She's that... bad at flying her broom. She's like true? a terrible witch. Oh. Yeah, it was like the same idea as like, not same idea, but like same time frame as like Hagar the Horrible. Oh, okay. I knew that what is one. It, buddy? There was a bell, buddy. It's for whack a mole. Oh, there's tons of carnival games over here. We were thinking of doing Spider Man, but it's a 60 minute wait. It's still pretty, pretty stormy looking. So the entire queue, for the most part, is inside and air conditioned. So I thought. So I thought that would be like a, a nice way to kind of wait out the storm. Yeah. But they did say that if you're doing single rider, you can't do child swap. So what we would have to do is one of us go through a single rider, ride the ride, the other one stay with Jackson, and then when, when they're done, then the other person goes through a single rider, rides the ride, and then the other person stays with Jackson. Right, so, so I wonder can't. which would be faster, probably 
two people riding single rider one after the other. Well, I did ask her, like, do you know how long single rider is? And she said, I have, I have no idea. We have no yeah. way of knowing. Because there's no way of knowing because they don't know what the number of people are in the line. Like, right. It's a group of three, it's a group of five. And then if you want to ride this ride and you have a stroller, the stroller parking is right across the way there um, for Spider-Man. So, so, I don't know what to do. Unfortunately, Jackson's getting real tired. Oh, no. No. All right, so because we're gonna take Jackson back to the hotel for a nap, I was able to change the virtual line to about three. I told him, I told him 336, but then it changed it to 306. So now my it must be used by 335. So I think I can reschedule again once that gets a little bit closer. If Jackson's still asleep, which seems like it's very nice. Sorry, there's people riding a roller coaster right here. They're yelling at me. It's been so long since we've ridden Hulk. I know. So I think that this will actually work out okay because I can reschedule again and push it back even further. I hope, I really, really want to ride it. Yeah, so we'll definitely come back because we still have to do the dance party. Yeah, we're going to come back. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I've never seen this before. They're selling hip packs from Dekine. And then like this is like an over-the-shoulder purse. But then they have just various universal bags right next to these Dekine bags. This is just in the park, like right across from the Starbucks over here. Also right next to that kiosk is a Funko kiosk. You can get all kinds of different, all kinds of different uh, Funko Pops. You can get like Hulk as part of the Avengers. From Doctor Strange, Captain Marvel. Professor Hulk wearing bunny slippers. What? What is that? Oh, Modoc. Deadpool, Barista Deadpool. Hello Kitty. Dom Toretto from Fast and Furious. Oh, and they've got some dorbs over here too. Some Ghostbuster dorbs. And they got Men in Black Funko Pops. Oh, and then they've got Thanos from Earth 18138. It's like he's the Punisher. This is like, these are the most niche Funko Pops I've ever seen in a theme park. It's really interesting. I didn't even know there was a Funko store here. Right? Yeah, this is cool. And then look, here's the Punisher Thanos and then right next to the Thanos doing the snap. Oh, he is. Weird, right? Oh, yeah. Look at this barista Deadpool. He's got a Tim Tracker mustache. All right, we were kind of booking it through City Walk because we wanted to get underneath this cover before the rain starts and it's about to start. Like the temperature has dropped. It's starting to get a little breezy. It's gonna rain. Honestly, it feels great. Yeah. Like, it always feels really great right before the rain. I also wanted to point out that Hagrid's is on a ride delay due to weather. So even though we extended it, you see the timer has stopped. So Jackson is awake from his nap. We watched Loki and it has stopped raining. The entire world has changed. Uh, but we're headed out back to Universal. So now... So. Who didn't think that we were gonna ride Hagrid's? Who who didn't have faith that Hagrid's was gonna happen on this trip? This you said one. it, why didn't I? When did I say that? You literally said in the last clip when we were leaving, you're like, I guess we're not gonna ride it today, sorry. I said we might not be able no, to. No, you literally said. Check the tape. <laughs> so I think, I'm sorry, but I think you missed out on your ride on Hagrid's today. No. I mean, we'll see what happens. I always say the word might. I don't think so. Might, it's, I'm probably wrong. We're going, we're gonna yeah, go Yeah, we're going Hagrid's. back right now. And you... we're gonna try to do the child swap because that's something I don't think you've ever showed. No. Right? So no. this will be, everybody's gonna experience something new today. However. What? I don't know if we will be able to do the dance party today. Oh yeah, so they do, I think the last dance party is at 5.30. Oh, and it's like 4.15 right now. I don't think we're gonna make it. So we are gonna have to make another trip and do the dance party with Jackson. However, Tim did do the dance party with you guys. So mm -hmm. I will link that video down below if you wanna see what we're talking about. But Let's now we're gonna head back to the park. Let's, Let's go. Do it. All right, I know it's foggy because we just came out of the air conditioning, but 29 minutes just started raining again. So I don't know, it says that it's still going. Okay, so Tim asked me if I would ride it in the rain and I said yes. Okay. Is that a bad decision? Would yeah. you ride it in the rain? Me? No, oh, them. Oh, yeah. Tell us in the comments, would you ride it in the rain? Okay. I feel like I I came this far. 
Yeah. I'm gonna write it. I'm not going to. If it, <laughs> no, if it's raining, I'm not gonna write it. But you're still gonna go in the line with me. Yeah. And do the child swap, like, but yeah. not swap. I guess I'll write it. Why not? I'll get all wet. You only live once. It's true. It's, it's, it's so like we're like in a in a soap opera dream right now because it's oh. so foggy. It is a dream. I'm gonna ride Hagrid's today. <laughs> We've got 20 minutes until the start of our return time. I think we're gonna make it. That's just the start, and then we've got a little bit of time after that. All right, so we've made it through security. Sorry it's bouncy, I'm like running, because we've only got 28 minutes to get back to Hagrid's, because it kept changing. And then while we were in security, it's like, your time is up, go. And so we've got 28 minutes left in our time. We're running. It's raining just a little teeny tiny bit, but not enough to pull out the umbrellas. Looks like everybody's making their way out. Oh, also there was a QR code for the virtual experience here as we're heading up to Islands of Adventure. Is that out there this morning? I think so. I don't remember that. Me neither. There was a lot of people here though. Jen, I hope you're ready for your adventure to begin. Um, I'm so ready. You're gonna get some magical creatures for sure. I'm like the readiest I've ever been. I think we're all ready. All right, Jen, it's, it's happening. Awesome. You're gonna ride this ride. And there it is, it's running. We can hear it running. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right, so stroller parking for Hagrid's Magical Creature Motorbike Adventure is over here by three broomsticks. You can see where it says pram parking. I gotta figure out where to put it. I'm guessing like kind of right here next to this one. Daddy I don't know. All right, Jackson, you ready to ride? Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure? We're doing it. I feel like Jackson will just like walking through this queue and looking at the motorcycles going by. Which we should be able to see pretty soon here. Ooh, those breeze is nice. Okay, here comes another one, buddy. You ready to see it? Yeah, just kidding. he's actually not riding this. It's Jen that's gonna go on it, but I was making a joke. You hear the frog choir down there? And there's Hogwarts. Dancing, buddy? You dancing? Look at that little buddy dancing. Here's Hagrid's hut and all the pumpkins outside. They got attacked by uh, something. Nobody went after his flowers, though. You're going to a castle, buddy. Wow, look at us. Oh, we can see into the muggle world. I've never had a good camera in this queue. It's always just been my phone. But I have the good camera with me now because we're doing child swap and I can take it and have it in the child swap while Jen's on the ride. All right, so this is the pre-show that we don't get to see because of coronavirus. So we're just walking through. No pre-show at the moment. What are these things? Well, it's a spider webs. Look at all that wood. All right, now we're in the egg room. This is where all of the dragon eggs are. some graffiti on the wall too. I think it's graffiti, buddy. Egg. Lots and lots of eggs, buddy. Uh oh, what happened to that one? Oh, it hatched. He's so excited for the eggs. Right, you like those eggs, buddy? Yeah. Is that a turtle shell? With crystals on it? So I forgot to check the time when we got in, but we're estimating that we got in line around 5.03. So not long, about 10 minutes in line now. Oh, a unicorn, and she's a mum. Salamander? You can't see him, they're still even dark for this big camera. Cornish pixie? A niffler? Ooh, all of these glowing plants. It's like we're on Pandora when I'm stuck on the handrail. What is that thing? It's frightening looking. A manator, a manicor. Like eyeballs. Ask Carrie about this rubber duck. All right. Okay, we're gonna go. I'm leaving you in the kids' watch. Yeah, it's a very tight room in here. It's not very big at all. The Velocicoaster was huge compared to this. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, bye. I'm so nervous. Look at my hands. Well, no, you were grabbing it real tight, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. You didn't know it went backwards? No, I freaked out. I, like, we get to the end and I see the end of the track and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. That was so scary. <laughs> it was good though, right? No, it was so good. You 
tried it and then we'll talk about it. Okay. okay. All right, Jen, what did you think? I loved it. I feel like it really was worth the wait. Yeah. Like, and I, I know this is probably gonna sound just probably crazy, but I liked it better than Velocicoaster. Oh, really? Like, do I think Velocicoaster is like a better coaster? Yes. But this is so much, like, I will ride this again. Yeah. I'm like afraid to ride Velocicoaster. Like, I, I really would have to like work myself up to ride it again. Yeah. Even though it was really, really good and I, I really enjoyed it, it was scary. <laughs> Whereas this is like... It's, it's an easy ride. Yeah, it was so good. I think my favorite parts, first of all, I didn't know that it went backwards, so that really scared me. And I watched a POV of it too, and I don't remember the backwards part. Oh yeah. I knew there was a drop, but like the backwards part happened, and I was in the last car by myself. I didn't have anybody next to me. I was riding the motorcycle. I went up the top, and I was like, where, where, where is this big, tall, like hump i don't remember seeing this yeah. and then i also was like where's the rest of the track <laughs> and then we started going backwards jackson wants to ride it and then we started going backwards and then i was like really scared because i'm like i'm pretty sure this is going to lead into the drop which it did and then i was nervous about the drop because i didn't know how much of a drop it was it was so good and i love the story like i love that it was like telling a story yeah and the launches were great and i love the like the parts where you were like very sideways, you know, yeah. like that made it more thrilling. I love getting on the motorcycle. I think if you can get on the motorcycle beyond, that's the best way to ride it. Yeah, front row I, on the motorcycle is amazing. I like back row. Well, you haven't ridden front row yet. That's true. Because there's nothing just, in front of you. Let's go ride it again. Yeah. <laughs> I loved it. I think that that's something that I will try to ride every time that I can ride it. Yeah. So now I can say oh, officially, look, a unicorn. And oh, oh look, a she's mom. a mom. I didn't understand because you said it in line. And then we got to the end of the ride and I was like, oh, I, it's like when they say the name of the movie in the movie. Yeah. I, had, I had that moment. But this honestly, oh, so coaster. good, you guys. Like, so, so good. I loved it. Really, really good. Loved it. Uh oh, buddy! A roller coaster and two helicopters. Oh my gosh! This is like this is like there's rocks everywhere. Two helicopters, a roller coaster. And so am I. Yeah. You know what time it is now? What time? Dinner time. All right, we've made it to the exit. Now we're gonna head over to. I think we're gonna try to eat at Vivo. Vivo is the Italian restaurant just underneath Cowfish, and we've only eaten here once, but we really, really liked it. So we're headed back again. So they told us that inside was reservation only, but patio was seated right away. So we just sat out here on the patio. And I want to show you, they have the touchless menu for you to scan. So if you'd like to see what the menu is, scan the QR code. They brought us out some bread, like a nice fresh loaf of bread. It's a very crusty bread. I think you just, I think you can make you know, like the dipping sauce. So to start, we got a caprese salad. And then we also got Jackson's food, which they do spaghetti and meatballs, but we asked for penne and meatballs. So it was a little bit easier for him to eat. Looks really good. Look at that meatball. It looks delicious. It smells good. All of these noodles are made in-house. Oh, are they? Yeah. Is that what they say? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, you can go back and see them being made in the kitchen. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. What do you think, Jackson? Do you like it? Continue to eat it if you like it. So I got the Italian meat pizza. They did add Parmesan to it. So I've got some sausage, some pepperoni. So I feel like there's another one on there too, but I don't remember what it was. Maybe it was just sausage and pepperoni. And then Jen got, look at this, just like some straight on like prawns in there. Head yeah. on prawn, that's a full out prawn. <laughs> Um, so this is the shrimp fra diavolo. I'm saying that wrong, I'm sure, but it's like a spicy shrimp dish. That's squid ink pasta. It looks really, really good. And then there is some pieces of shrimp without the heads, so it looks pretty nice. Let me see this one over here. Yeah. You smelling those flowers, buddy? What do you think of them? Are they good? <laughs> Smell good? We are headed out of Universal. Headed back to the hotel now. <laughs> Okay, so we are back in the room. Uh, Jackson had a bath, he went to sleep, 
kind of took a while at Vivo. We kind of went way past his bedtime, so we didn't have enough time to have dessert at Vivo. However, we really enjoyed both of our dishes. Like, Jen really enjoyed her food, and I really enjoyed mine. Hello. <laughs> you came out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, my dinner was delicious. It was pretty spicy. Ooh. The pasta tasted like fresh pasta. Yeah. Um, it was really, really good. The shrimp was delicious. It wasn't overcooked. I loved it. I thought yeah. it was really a nice dinner. My pizza was delicious. However, it did remind me a lot of Red Oven Pizza, which is like right next door to Vivo. And it's a quick service. It's yeah, a, Red it's Oven a is bit, a quick service. Yeah, it's a little bit cheaper. I think if you're just eating pizza, go to Red Oven. But if you're looking for pasta or like a nice Italian dish, yeah. go to Vivo. Yeah, it was um, really good. Also, Jackson ate most of his meal, uh, which was great. So I know that he really liked it too. Yeah. So we didn't have enough time to get dessert there, but we came back to the hotel and I went down to the Universal Studios store. You and got so many things. I got some, some peppermint toads. Yeah, they look good. Well, they convinced me. So I wanted to get just one chocolate bar. Yeah. And the lady's like, they're three for 10. So go ahead and pick out two other ones. And I was like, well, okay. <laughs> you don't have to listen. Okay. And so I got them. <laughs> so you're, I got like, some, you're like a retail worker's dream. I got some ET ones, which are like chocolate with like Reese's peanut butter, uh, Reese's pieces in them. They look and then good. I got a cookies and cream one, the Shrek for you. I love Shrek and I love cookies and cream. Yeah. So uh, I think we're going to go to bed now. I wanted to mention this really quick because this is behind us, but I just realized that the curtains are like a wood, they look like a wood grain from far away. Yeah, it's nice. I thought that was neat. I didn't notice that the first day. Yeah. What have you thought about the resort so far? It's very crowded. It is very crowded, yeah. But I like it. I think just with the price, you're going to definitely get more people staying here. So it makes sense that it's more crowded. But I will say that even with the crowd at breakfast and at dinner yesterday... You didn't see the crowd. I didn't bring the camera down there. The crowd at the Pier 8 right now, yeah. which is like 9 o'clock at night, it was bonkers. Was it? I wonder, yeah. did the parks just close? I, I think people are just coming back to the hotel after the parks, yeah. Okay. And they're like, all right, time for some dinners. Because I was originally going to get like another brownie like we had last night, but the line went from the cash registers back to where you get your hamburgers. Three oh. of them open were that long. Wow, really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we went like during, I want to say it was like... 5 30 like yeah. normal normal dinner time and then we went at breakfast after everybody i think had left to go to the park already because we were late and during those off peak times it wasn't bad right so um, we could find a table i thought it was pretty good yeah so oh i like this resort i do too i really am having a good time i enjoy it yeah i think it's totally worth the price oh yeah and it's not far from the parks no no it was such a short drive over yeah so and you, they have buses that run too that's true yeah so I think we're going to end it in the morning when we check out. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. An alarm has been activated. We are investigating the cause. Please remain calm and stand by near the speakers for further instructions. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. An alarm has been activated. We are investigating the cause. Please remain calm and stand by. Ladies and so gentlemen, we just got out of the shower like we were we're all ready for bed activated. and then this started going off cause. and I think it just is going to go off by. until they turn off the, the alarm. I hope it happens soon. Yeah, because this has gone on like six Ladies or seven times now. Please. I've never had this activated. happen at a hotel before. Right? Right? This is so weird. I wonder please what it is. Like a fire alarm? I will tell you, when I went downstairs to go and pick up the Ladies food, like the, the candy, uh -huh. there was a, a very stinky activated. smell in the hallways. The Which hallway? The, the first floor by. hallway. May I have your attention, please? We apologize for any alarms you may have just heard or seen. Our okay. All right. 10, 16 at night. It was only going on for a solid, you know, 10 minutes. All right. Good. All right. So it's the next day. We slept pretty good, aside from that, like, alarm that went off. Yeah, I had a really good night's sleep, I think because we did so much yesterday, yeah. that, which is today, earlier in this video, yeah. um, it was easy to have Those a good glasses. night's sleep. That's goofy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed Endless Summer. I did too. I, I like the, the price, I like the proximity to the theme parks. I don't know how far away this is from Disney though, do you know? No. So if you're doing like a split stay, a lot of people will do a few days at Universal, a few days at Disney. Um, I don't. How far away is Universal from Disney? 
Uh, like 20 minutes. Okay, so it's it's really not too super far from Disney, but I also don't know if the shuttles will take you there. So I no, think you would you have, have to, to have a car. yeah, or like get an Uber right. or something like that. But it's really not that far from Disney. So if you're doing a split stay, I still think this is a good place to keep in mind. Yeah. Um, I liked it a lot. I wish we had gotten to swim in the pool. Oh yeah. We got to look at the pool from the window. Yeah. People looked like they were having fun. So. Dang. Yeah. But, oh, a great stay. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, we are off. We want to see you guys tomorrow. Hi, I'm Kelsey from Wisconsin, and now it's time to pay the price.